Good afternoon, makers. Welcome back to another installment of Virtual Maker Wednesday. I'm here, back ready with another fun workshop for you. As you might remember from last week, uh, we have now entered into October's uh, Sustainability Month theme. And like we talked about last time, sustainability is this idea that we kind of want to we want to make the most efficient systems possible for our lives that uh, limit waste and limit overuse of certain things and maximize efficiency. Um, so that's, you know, things like recycling, um, you know, reducing, reusing those three R's that we always talk about. And today we're actually going to be doing a form of recycling, which is upcycling. And we are going to do that to turn a plastic bottle into a fun pencil case with a zipper top. Very cool, right? So, um, very quickly before we get into the art of the craft, I just wanted to talk for another second about upcycling and recycling. Um, so as you know, as you've learned before, uh, recycling is the process of taking, you know, products like plastic, um, certain metals, paper, that sort of thing. Um, and instead of just throwing it away to go into a dump forever, uh, we sort it and send it into a recycling plant where that material gets then broken down and then re repurposed, reused um, to make something else. So uh, the difference with upcycling is that instead of sending something like this plastic bottle to a recycling plant that can be then broken down and then used to make a different type of plastic, upcycling just takes something that we already have that we would consider a waste product um, and uses it in a different way to create a whole different product. So like last time, or <laughs> the last time this bottle was used, uh, it contained Mountain Dew, a fun caffeinated beverage that you yourself probably enjoy. I know I do. And someone drank the Mountain Dew out of it and then, uh, you know, put it into the recycling bin. And then uh, we took it out, washed it out, and now we're going to turn it into a pencil case. So we're changing its use uh, and we're manipulating what it is uh, to create something new. Pretty cool, right? All right. So first step for this, of course, I just took off the label of the bottle because, like, I don't really want a Mountain Dew pencil case. But that being said, if you like that for your decoration, if you're a big Mountain Dew fan, leave it on. Totally okay. Um, the materials we're going to need are, of course, uh, a plastic bottle from your house, you know, definitely make sure you wash it out. We're still being extra cautious about germs in these times. Um, you can use, have some yarn around or something to decorate if you want to use your paint pens, totally cool time for that. I bet that would look cool. Um, we got scissors, we got zippers, we got craft foam, and a little hot glue, and a little extra hot glue stick. And I'm also going to eventually show you guys a little technique what to do if um, you have a longer zipper, if your zipper's too long for what you have going on, but we'll get there. So, um, first things first, uh, we are going to go ahead and attach our zipper to our craft foam. So, uh, what we're going to do is line very lightly. We're going to put hot glue on the sides as close to the edge of our zipper as possible, and then we are going to glue that down to the foam side so not the sticky side, but the foam side of our craft foam. Um, and this is going to create kind of like a nice little buffer uh, that we'll then be able to use um, to like wrap around the bottle to be able to make the zipper strong and also uh, aesthetically pleasing. So I will go ahead and start like that. Um, and I really can't stress enough, friends. Uh, you know, I, I did a couple of trial runs of this project and it's very, very, very important to not use too much hot glue because that hot glue gunks up our zipper and no one wants that, right? So, like I said, we're gonna very carefully, very lightly apply some hot glue to the edge of our zipper. And as always, when we work with hot glue, friends, remember that it's very hot. We don't wanna burn ourselves. Um, we also need to try to be efficient with how um, how quickly we put it on because we don't want the glue to start drying before it's sticking to what we need it to stick to, right? So let's start like that. We'll get this on our strip of craft foam. And then when you lay it down, you know, we want to press, but again, we want to press lightly because we don't want this glue sort of like overflowing um, into the track of the zipper. It's just gonna do this nice and light. And we'll give that a moment to settle. Seems like I'm already gonna need a little bit more hot glue up here, huh? Yeah, let's get that 
back on. Ooh. See, uh, spread that out a little bit because accidentally put a big glop there. And we definitely, definitely don't want this running over. Just do that. Make sure we do the same thing on the other side here. Covering all of our bases. Cool. That should be good for now. So while we let this settle for a moment, we're going to go ahead and take our bottle. Now, for this project, um, we're going to need both the piece that we cut off, so this top half of the bottle, and also the bottom part. So whenever you're cutting this, um, if you have an adult that can help you, you know, if you're, because uh, we're going to be working with sharp scissors or sharp exacto acto knife, um, that would definitely be preferable. Because uh, we always want to be safe when we're using with our sharp our sharp tools, but um, we also just want to cut this as clean as possible so that it's easy to work with. So, we're gonna go ahead and cut in. All right, much like our paper cutting technique from last week, right? So, pop this back out, get that going. Nice, hear that good pop. All right, now we have our slit. We can go ahead and cut along it. And again, be very careful here, friends. Always being very careful when we're using scissors or exacto knives or other sharp utensils. All right. Oh, great. So now that we have this, this will of course be our base. Uh, for our, our pencil case, and this will sort of be our lid. Um, and what we need to do now is attach the zipper um, to each one of these parts. So um, once we have our zipper on our, our foam here sort of attached in the way that we want, um, we're going to go ahead and zipper it down like such, okay? And we'll zipper it down to our bottom piece here. We have our catch. And we're going to go ahead, we're going to spread it open, and we're gonna cut along the middle here. Because essentially what we wanna do is create two strips on either side to be the base for our zipper that we will then attach um, to our bottle. And that'll make the system efficient and usable. So we'll go ahead, kind of like, however you wanna do this, I'm kind of like holding it like a hot dog kind of. Um, and we're gonna go ahead, kind of come down and you'll see what I mean here. This will make sense. All right, great. So now we kind of have it like this. And now we'll just cut around the, the edge of it too because we want it to look cool, right? You know, these are, these are different projects that teach us lots of different things. But, uh, you know, I think that here at the Mobile Community Library, I feel like our maker projects have style, you know? Because all of you makers out there have style. And it's important, it's a way to sort of, you know, think about what we like and who we are and another way to express ourselves and to be able to develop a cool style for our projects that we feel proud of. Cool. All right. So now we have this, like, this zipper that is on this craft foam, right? So there's the back half of the craft foam. We're going to peel this off in a second. But you see kind of what we did there, what we made there, right? Cool. Okay. So now uh, the idea is basically going to be we're going to pull off one side of this craft foam and attach it around the rim um, of our pencil holder. And this is this water bottle. Of course, everybody's bottle is going to be slightly different in length. Um, this diameter is just a little bit larger than seven inches, which is about the size of these zippers. But that's okay. It's still going to work out. So we'll go ahead. We'll peel this off. Looks like I'm having a little, a little zipper issue here. So I'm actually going to put a little bit more hot glue on the bottom of that. All right. And again, we're being so incredibly careful with our hot glue because we don't want to get hurt. And we also just don't want it to mess up the zipper. All right, 
So that's feeling pretty good. Um, now, while that dries, the technique I was talking about before, if you use a different zipper or if your zipper is too long and you have to cut it, um, you should be able to, to cut right through the fabric like I did here, but you have to make another stopper. So just like this zipper has its, its stopper at the bottom here that, you know, prevents the zipper from going any further, from going off the track, um, you'll need to do that if you end up cutting a zipper um, because otherwise the zipper would just kind of go right off the track, right? I'll go all the way down. So a very simple way to do that is to use your sewing kit, thread a little needle, and then we just kind of go right around um, the area where we want to make our stop for our track. And, you know, we ba basically just need to make a big, big and ugly track here to stop the zipper right in its tracks. So again, this, this technique is only if your zipper is a little bit too big um, and you need to cut it off and make a new stopper. This is a good little quick, quick fix for that. So I see that there. Maybe I'll try to take down the brightness for a moment. Still, uh, you know, you guys probably remember that I don't, I'm not a professional videographer here. Um, yeah, there we go. See that right here? That's our stop that we made. So if you need to do that, that's how you do that. Let me go ahead and mess with the brightness a little bit again. Cool. Okay, great. Um, so it looks like our zipper is ready. So like I said, we're going to take the bottom part, take off the paper, and put it right around the rim here. And we're able to do this, of course, because we have our awesome sticky craft foam. And again, this is better than directly applying the hot glue um, to the plastic, because like we've discussed before when we use hot glue, um, hot glue is essentially just plastic, like it's melted. Um, so in the same way that the plastic of the glue melts, if you apply hot glue directly to plastic, that plastic will melt, you know? So, cool. See that there? So that's our bottom half. Now, we're gonna take our top half and essentially do, essentially do the same thing. We're gonna take off this backpack to sticky <laughs> the back paper, the sticky part, <laughs> to reveal the sticky part of the craft film. Sorry, tough day for words here in the library. Uh, and then we are going to wrap wrap this as such and make it part of the zipper system. So go ahead. All right, cut my nails right before this, guys. Sometimes it's hard to peel. Okay, great. So now, go ahead. Make sure this is attached to our edge. Cool. And we'll give it a second to do its thing. All right. Looks like it's sticking pretty well. Now, unfortunately, I had a little, a little lack of hot glue again. So one more time, very carefully, we'll go ahead, put a little bit on the edge here. And as always, friends, it's very important to remember that, you know, our projects, they don't ever need to look perfect and they don't ever need to be right the very first time. It's all about trying it, seeing what you can do. All right, so now I think we're good. So we have our lid off, boop, and then we've got our lid on. Very cool, right? And I bet you've never really thought about uh, putting a zipper on a plastic bottle to make a pencil case, huh? Pretty cool. Hey, what's up? 
All right, cool. Now that we got that, uh, this is of course the uh, functional part of our project. Uh, we now have the freedom to personalize it and decorate it. So, you know, paint pens would probably be a cool call for this. Um, I'm gonna like wrap a little bit of yarn around it and, you know, just jazz it up a little bit and make it look cool. Um, I'm probably actually gonna put a little dots hot glue on my top here and of course if you have the bottle cap for your bottle um that would definitely help uh in terms of closing the top but you don't have to close the top the pencils aren't gonna aren't gonna run away from you um yeah we'll just kind of put that around i'll just start doing some cool yarn stuff right Add a little personalizing to it. Maybe uh maybe even down at the bottom here. Do a similar thing. Oh, had a little hot glue sticking off, you know? It's almost like uh it reminds you of, like spider webs or something, you know, you're getting stuck on parts you didn't even realize. So we'll go ahead. And I always like using yarn to decorate stuff because it doesn't only add, you know, a visual appeal, but it adds a textural appeal. So, and by that, I mean yarn feels different than plastic. So, again, a little bit of a hot glue here, try to get it on our yarn so that this will stick, but that it won't burn our plastic. It's kind of, kind of our goal there. Cool. And then we can kind of just zigzag around, make it look fun, doing our thing. All right. Get that back on that hot glue. And again, be careful, friends, because hot glue is hot. All right. Voila. We'll go ahead, zip it open. Maybe get maybe get some of our supplies in there. Just switching pencil cases, you know. And zip it up. And there you have it. Cool, friends. Well, I hope you all enjoy this project. Uh, as always, if you have any questions, feel free to call us at the library or send me an email. I hope everyone's having an excellent October. Take care.